I'm Boreen Caroline. I'm a cancer psychologist working with, uh, for Tenada Youth Organization. We are partnering with uh, Ponea Health and we'll be talking about conduct disorder among children. Conduct disorder from the word conduct. It's just the way somebody is supposed to behave. And basically we're talking about children here. The way children behave in their day-to-day -day normal life. And disorder is just getting out of the way they're supposed to be behaving. Conduct be, be, uh, disorder comes in a very particular behavior or traits that will sometimes confuse people. Um, uh, a child would be very aggressive. A child would be so irritable. And these are the kind of children who will find joy when they're hurting somebody. They will have problems with authority. They will have problems with their parents. They steal a lot and they lie a lot. And they are very charming. Conduct behavior comes in a way that before you know a child has a behavior, you wouldn't even believe it because they are so calm and they are very calculative and they like putting blames on other people until when you find out later that this child actually has a disorder. They, when they grow up and this is not taken care of, they're the kind of people who end up becoming narcissists. They're the kind of people who might end up becoming psychopaths because to get a psychopath, by the time you get them, you realize they've done a lot of very, very many things. And so you cannot diagnose a child with cognitive behavior until they reach the age of six. When they get to six years old, then as they grow on and they go and they become adult, you can, you can easily know that this child has a conduct disorder. Many parents will not know about this. Like I mentioned before, they are very sly, very charming, and very loving people. And they calculate their moves. They know what they're supposed to be doing, and they know when they're making a mistake. They are the ch kind of children that will have fascination on fire. They, ha they like playing around with fire. And when they get angry, they destroy things with fire. They play around with fire with children when they're outside there. They take fire and scare children away. And they also uh, have this disorder called kleptomania. They steal things that are not even supposed to be stolen. You ask them, why did you steal this? Because it doesn't even make sense to them. And they will give you reason that Maybe somebody told them to, to steal, which is a lie, or they would blame something else that made them to steal. And it's so easy for you to feel pity for them. So it is, it is not going to be easy for you to reprimand them because they give you a reason that will make you feel, yeah, that's the reason why they stole, so I need to do something about it or just let it lie as a parent. But if you are not keen with the behaviors of this child, this child might end up being a very, very dangerous person in the future. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have learned a lot from each other. If you want to book my services, you can always do that through ponea.com. You will get me, you will be referred to me, and we will be able to continue with this topic or anything that might be disturbing you psychologically.